Welcome everyone to today's talk show, JCE Live 2002, Dalawang Dekada, 20 Years of Empowering and Uniting. I am your host, John Michael Lim. Uh, today, the show, uh, today, uh, we're gonna celebrate, today the show is uh, about the celebration of our 20th year anniversary of Batch 2002 of Jubilee Christian Academy. So this show is to, so to let us get a sneak peek to the daily lives of our batchmates. Today's show is about our batchmates who are entrepreneur moms. Uh, we call this show Mompreneurs. We all know that being a parent is already a difficult task ahead, but also being an entrepreneur is also a tough task. So combining the both, combining both, uh, it's nothing short of amazing. So we wanna pay homage to the hardworking parents, or in this case, moms, or mompreneurs, or our power moms, um, we want to pay homage for their hard work and efforts. Uh, I am proud and excited to introduce my two guests, uh, my batchmates, uh, wife, mother, uh, and entrepreneurs, uh, owner of uh, uh, Beyond Flowers, Sabrina Poon, and uh, my next guest, uh, Razel Sobilisin, owner and creative director of Spend Digital Ad Agency. Oh, but before that, uh, we're, we're giving away two raffle prizes. One is from the Chinky Chef and the other is 2,000 pesos cash prize. All will be given in Facebook. Uh, so all you have to do is comment, comment, uh, the, the best comment and uh, the best comment and the uh, the best comment and the best question. After that, put hashtag JCA2002 and you will win the prize. Uh, so, hi, 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 hi. Thank you, hi. So. Hi, 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 hello, hello, hello everyone. Hi. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. Grabe, it's been so long. Grabe. Uy. <laughs> Grabe. I like your background, Saba. Ang ganda ng background. <laughs> thanks, Johnny. Thank you, thank you, Grabe. Thank you for gracing our show. Uh, so, guys, Grabe, it's been 20 years. So, Grabe, na-miss ko kayo. Parang, I miss the old times. So, kamusta kayo? I hope all is well. All is as well as it can be, I guess, <laughs> since you're all locked down. How about you, Sab? Ciao, Jenny. Hope you're well. God too. sustains. Yes, of well. Thank you. <laughs> definitely, God definitely sustains. God sustains. Grabe, guys. Uh, you guys look great. I hope na you look great. Parang walang pinagbago from dati talagang. Ano bang secret nyo? Grabe, parang ano ah. Ano bang secret ng mga batchmates natin dito? Ikaw din, Johnny. You look young. Looking good, Johnny. Wala, 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 wala. Parang ano lang to. Agile lang. <laughs> so, <laughs> guys, um, meron kaming ifa flash dito. Ano, um, we'll do a little icebreaker activity. May ifa flash kaming mga pictures. Pero, kasama din ako dito. So, uh, don't worry. So, uh, Okay, uh, we'll do a little activity here para lang, you know, to break the ice. So, um, so, let's go, let's go. Icebreaker, icebreaker. Uh, you know, <laughs> you look so great. Grabe. <laughs> Grabe, talaga. Walang incriminating, di ba? <laughs> Damn! Ganda mo nga dun eh. Walang incriminating, Johnny. Eh. You look so good there. Our next guest. Oh, nene. <laughs> you look so good. You look so good, Sab. Promise. Yes, Sab. Okay, so sige na. May discount ka na, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, nene, nene. <laughs> So good then. Oh, to be fair, ilalabas <laughs> din yung akin. Thank you, Johnny. <laughs> okay. I'm a sport. 
Ano nangyari dyan? Ano nangyari dyan? Oh my lord. Ano nangyari dyan? Ay. Okay, may isa pa tayong icebreaker activity. Um, we're gonna show you nostalgic places and then uh, show ako ng one picture and then Percy Sab magsasagot. Then next picture, si Rizal magsasagot. So, ganun yung flow. Okay? So, guys, let's show the pictures of uh, nostalgic, nostalgia. Um, okay, tama, tama. Tama si Sab. Okay? Uh, next picture. Para kay Rizal naman to. Ano yung place yan? Favorite ni Jackie. Tama, tama. Oy, oy. Ano naman, nahilig ako mag-pingpong dyan. Oh, meron pa tayong third place. Can you show the third place kung ano yan? Nasa ang floor yung third year tayo? Third year. For, fourth floor. Correct, correct. Fourth floor, fourth floor. Yeah. Tama, tama, tama. Okay, um, last picture. Can you show the last picture? Guys, where was this taken? Where was this photo taken? Front of the chapel. The steps. Correct, correct, correct. Tama, tama. <laughs> Guys, alam nyo naman, um, talagang sobrang, we are so thankful for having you guys grace our show talagang thank you for gracing it na for coming here and I know busy kayo pero you still make time for us so I wanna thank you for Sab and Razel to to be here so first of all um so guys let's get into it since our show's about mompreneurs we'll be having a deep dive into the lives of you guys as power moms okay so guys uh First question, so I just want to know na si Sab muna. Uh, guys, what inspired uh, Sab, what inspired you or what's the story behind why you created the awesome flower shop Beyond Flowers? Can you tell us a story? Uh, I guess I, I had it coming early, early on because uh, I'm, I'm not an artist. I can't draw, but I can put things together. So, it, after after graduating college, I went into uh, a found uh, an, uh, an NGO, and then I went in, I went and joined the civil service with the government. And medyo um, hazardous kasi yung job ko because I I, I travel to different uh, places in Mindanao, in different provinces in Mindanao. So, after getting married and then getting pregnant, I needed to, you know, uh, step back from my career as a civil servant. And then the opportunity presented itself after giving birth to our second child. Um, no, I mean, uh, the, the topic of uh, postpartum depression after giving birth is... Uh, one of the, of course, one of the issues that mothers or um, new moms face. So, but in my case, uh, it hit me harder, hardest uh, after our second child. And then from there, um, you know, I, sabi nga ni God, you know, an idle mind is a breeding ground for, you know, Satan and negative yes. thoughts. So, um, I wanted to do something uh, worthwhile without eating my time uh, away from my family. And I, I'm very, very blessed because uh, I have a very supportive family. My sisters, Kat and Alexa, they're very supportive. Sabi niya, Achi, maybe do something that you love. So this, this really started as a cottage business. Um, I started at home and then, uh, there started at home and then from there we put up a shop um, Ness also is very supportive uh, so 
He's very supportive like when I'm not home or when I'm doing orders, he takes care of the kids. So, it all started from there. Wow, grabe nga, ang ganda. I can see na talagang you put the love talaga when I can see the arrangement behind you talagang you put the passion talaga and the love in making your Johnny, wala pa arrangement yan ah. <laughs> oh, grabe, pero ang ganda eh, talagang na ano ako eh, parang it speaks to me talaga ang ganda ng flowers talaga. So, Thank you, Johnny. Thank you for your kind Grabe. Words. It's it's so beautiful, Sab. So, now, I- kay Razel naman. Uh, hi, Razel. So, um, what was the inspiration for or the story behind you making uh, Sven, the digital ad agency? So, can you walk us through kung how was it? Well, it it's actually it actually started not as a digital first agency. It actually started as um, uh, an ad funded uh, free Wi Fi business. So we were we partnered with brands um, and re- retail establishments like McDonald's um, and a lot of other restaurants um, to provide free Wi Fi in exchange for content to be served to to customers in who will use the free Wi-Fi. Uh, but in the process, we what, what we had to do kasi was we had to um, create content and plan content to sell to advertisers. And we realized that we actually had a knack for it. So we shifted the business, the business and turned it into a digital agency. Uh, there, and then that's where Sven actually started. Yeah, wow. So, talagang parang nag-start siya. You were, you were parang providing an internet service. And then later on, parang it shifted to uh, parang you saw na parang, uy, parang we have an app for digital ads. Parang ganun. So, it shifted from there. Yes, kasi the only business. way that we could, that we could um, show the value of the platform was to actually show the advertisers what they can do in the platform so we had to conceptualize a lot of um, plans and creative ideas for for the people who we wanted to recruit to be advertisers in the platform and then we figured it made more sense to do that than because it was also more sustainable yes because right now it's like we're in a digital age so parang hindi na usually print ads and ano eh, parang commercials, it's usually digital ads na in your sock med and everything. So, na, can I go back to Sab? Uh, Sab, hi. So, you were discussing about uh, na very hectic yung life from before when you're, you were in the government, ganyan, and then you found your passion talaga in, in like creating or creating your masterpieces mo here in in beyond flowers and i want can i touch on the subject na you were talking about postpartum depression kasi like right now since diba medyo pandemic everyone's in the house so medyo is it okay if you mentioned it if i touch on sure oh i'm not uh, an expert on it but yeah. i can share what i can so medyo parang advocate ka of mental health then in a way yes yes of course of course of course oh so, to, to me can you say hi yeah you can say hi 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 so, um, what what do you want to know about uh, postpartum? Uh, is it parang the same with the parang kasi like for me para sometimes I get depressed also ganon. Is it the same with the normal kind of depression or does it go away or parang during that time lang? How do you ano? You know, Johnny. Uh, there are seasons in our lives, di ba? Yes, so, yes. we started with, di ba, we started as kids, we started as, you know, in high school, we studied yes. well because we needed to pass high school to get into yes, college. Yes, and then we went yes. to college. We couldn't wait to finish college and work. 
And then when we started working, we couldn't wait to, you know, earn our own money, etc., etc. So at the beginning of everything, um, this is my take on it, okay? I'm not privy to other yeah, it's okay. uh, kinds of depression. It's okay, yeah, it's okay. okay. So initially, because I, most of us are, you know, uh, concentrated on the, these things, you know, seasons of our lives, we tend to, for, um, we tend to you know, uh, focus on that particular season. So, it's an adjustment kasi when you get married, you, di ba ka kasal ka na, Johnny? Yes, yes, so yes. You'll, you'll, you'll adjust. Yes, when yes. you get married, you'll adjust. Yes. Di ba? With of your course, husband. Of course, of course. And then your husband's family. And yes. then you try to, uh, you know, and then you get pregnant, you have children. Ganun. Yes. So, it's really a season of adjustment. Uh, and then, yes, yes. you know, because um, I left uh, civil service abruptly when I got pregnant because I was sensitive my pregnancy. Yes. So, you know, uh, and then, after a while, sometimes you get, you question, um, you get, you question, wait lang, before I, I was needed by a lot of people to do these activities, I, I do all these things, I have the freedom to do all these, and then suddenly, I have these two children relying on me, and you know, it's it's kind of overwhelming with the hormones and all. But at the end of the day, God is really, God is really in control of your life. He, 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 he makes it a point that if you if you're faithful, if you do your quiet time, if you if you are um, do no if you're aware of what you're going through, and then you lift it up to God, opportunities present themselves. Yeah. So from uh, after giving birth, I was able to because I know it's postpartum depression because I was uh you know we attend um I've attended several uh birthing classes and then they tend to touch on these uh, subjects so since i am aware uh, i was able to catch myself and then instead of yun nga, instead of uh, wallowing on why and why and why we tried we tried to uh, make things out of our situation yes so, ergo the flower shop came to me yes i agree parang you just, parang instead of complaining because of the rain, you just dance in the rain, parang ganon. You just adapt yeah. in your situation yeah. and just enjoy. Yes. And talagang, I agree with you na when you say na talagang, you just, the Lord talaga, He sustains talagang in the yes. seasons. When, so, when you lift it up to God, if you have plans, you lift it up to God. It's really yes. true. And then God will answer you. Read the Bible, God will answer you. Sir, I, you know, Surprisingly, in most of my prayers, God answers quickly when you read talaga regularly your Bible. So, there. After a while, you know, everything fell into place. I you agree. Know, I said, agree. Lord, my children are climbing the boxes. They're trying to um, get up the boxes to get my shears, the scissors, the glue gun, etc. Et wow. Et I may have to transfer to another place. So and they're then, also helping out, no? Hindi naman, because at that time, malit pa sila. Ah, yeah, so, yeah. So I, I tried to look for, I, I prayed to God, tried to look for a place. So I, I rented a small condominium near our place. So from there, um, medyo dumadami na yung packaging, yung stocks. So, um, with my sisters, with, with Alexandra and Kat's support, also Nest, they're very encouraging. So we put up a business. Yeah, we put up a commercial space. Grabe. I'm so amazed na talaga. I'm so amazed na talagang well being a mom, you still put up this business talaga. So the, the thing that, is, Johnny, yeah. you know, I think every mother has a very, every woman has a very special story behind her life you know if you if you the, this activity is also a very good avenue for us to check on each other diba? so yes you, you, i agree you know, your my ex my life experiences may be different from razors but yes in terms of uh you know in terms of being mothers we shared the same yes. experiences i agree i agree i agree so much so um, how about uh, then we'll go on to Razel. So 
uh, Razel. So ngayon, um, like sa uh, touch on uh, yung parang experiences niya as a mother, so can you also give us uh, your personal take on your experiences also as a mother? Yung uh, what are the changes? Ganon. And can you, if it's okay, uh, if it's okay for me to ask? Yeah, of course. Um, well, it's been life changing. Um, the people at work told, basically, a lot of them told me that after I became a mom, I became a lot more patient. <laughs> so, <Talaga. laughs> yes, uh oh. So it's really life changing, and um, I am very, very grateful to God for blessing me and my husband with two kids. Actually, I know. Um, it's it's actually a funny story because. Uh, we, we we wanted to get pregnant, so we went to the OB, and then on the day that we went to the OB to ask how to get pregnant, we found out that we're we were pregnant. actually pregnant. Wow! Yeah, so, wow. so it's really Blessing God's talaga. grace. Oh, yun talaga. Um, our our children are really blessings. Even our second one wasn't planned. We, uh, so God has been really gracious to us, and uh, basically motherhood is, sa akin, ano. I I every day I see it as a privilege because um it's it's a, it's both a privilege and also um a daunting um ro- responsibility because <laughs> you're responsible for the lives of two people sa akin at least two people and their future um but at the same time it's a privilege because every day you see how life has so much more meaning because they're because of them. So uh ayun masaya pero nakakatakot din kasi nga you are you are accountable. Yes, kumba you're so, the captain of the ship eh. Kumbaga, <laughs> you know, man, that's my husband. Ay, 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 he's <laughs> the captain of the ship. Yes, so, but you know, co-captain. Uh, yes. Pero I agree na parang you know ang galing niya talaga like Sobrang, I was amazed. I, I am amazed na talagang parang you can do both talaga. So parang, I'm just talaga all in moms, awe. All moms are really yeah, amazing. And I'm amazed you know with both of you. Talaga. All parents. Kasi, um, you know, sometimes there is this uh, parang overemphasis on moms. But the yes. reality is, dads are actually yes. just as involved. They are yes. just as responsible and uh um accountable I agree. as parents. I agree. I agree. Namin I agree. Kaya without them. So yes, I agree. If, if I may add, you know, being yes. parents, not just mothers, huh? um, it makes you realize it, it makes you go back to what love really means what love really means. Diba, we grew up uh with a definition that love is um Jesus Christ, God sacrificing Jesus Christ to die yes. on the cross. Yes. Um, as mothers, as parents, uh, you ma- you realize that uh, it's no longer about you. It's no longer yes. about what you want. It's no longer about what Ness and I want. It's about what God wants for us, for me, for my family. So it makes you selfless, diba? Right? Yes. It makes you yes, because I, I, I bet, lalo na si Razel, you know, you're multitasking on everything, <laughs> diba? As in, kung merong master's degree nung <laughs> multitasking, yes. lahat ng mommy. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I agree, but, I agree. But you know, that that is where um, God's grace also comes in. Because if it's just you and your husband, you really can't do it. That's why, you know, I, I was very happy because Razel a while ago share that they did a family devotion, diba? It's, yes, it's yes. wonderful to really put God in the center of your lives. Um, yes. Diba? It, it really anchors you. It really guides you. And then previously, I really didn't believe that the Bible, uh, this is not being too spiritual or anything. This is just yes. based on my experience. But, you know, I realize I've come to realize the more that we walk with the Lord, the more that we read um, His Word, the Bible really becomes parang the book of your life, the book of all season. Talaga. Yes. So if you have problems, check the Bible, diba? Yes, if you're I agree. Weary, 
God says, uh, do not go weary while doing good because in due season, you will reap. Yes, I agree. Yeah. Hey guys, meron tayong questions from our uh, viewers. This one is for Sam. Um, what has been your most rewarding project and what it what made it special for you? Like Cliché, but all all orders which come in are rewarding for me. The mere fact that I have been trusted uh, to create an arrangement, to celebrate something, to commemorate something, to you know celebrate a milestone, um, makes me feel like you've let me inside your your homes. You made me a part of your lives. So. Um, my love language is service for others. So, it um, my you know creating the flowers, arranging it is a daily exercise of my love, of my love language. Yun. So every every arrangement, small or big, I treat it just the same. Yun. Uh, v- everybody's VIP, especially kau Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Go order ako. Ang kalimutan order ko. Hindi ko nga pinapansin order mo. Pansin mo ba? No, but um, w- without, ano, um, it's not, hindi ko pinapalaki yung ulo of people or, you know, um, nabubuhat ng bangko. But every, every order is special. Pero ang ganda nun na, parang you treat everyone, everybody the same. VIP talaga lahat. Yeah. So, yes. grabe. Really I like that. We try to go na. beyond. Kaya pala beyond flowers, you go above yes. and beyond <laughs> yes. for the customer. Yes. Grabe. I like that. I love it. So, next question. Um, for Rizal muna, how did you come up with the business name, Sven? Can you ah. give us a story kung how did it come about? We wanted a global name because we wanted to have we wanted to have a big vision um, and uh, well, the dream was to really be a globally acclaimed agency. So we wanted the global name. Um, and so we we looked at names that would sound like an agency, to be honest, yun talaga. And also represent what we wanted to stand for, which was new ways of thinking when it comes to marketing products and also connecting with consumers. Um, and so... 13 years ago, the, the word that we thought of was Sven because it was actually it's actually Scandinavian for youth. Um, uh, and, wow. uh, and what who would better be able to drive new ways of thinking but the youth? And we were young then. Now, hindi na. You guys still are look you, 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 are you guys are, are young. young. You look young. Parang kahapon yeah, lang but, sinasabi ko. Okay, go, go. Sorry. Ayun, pero yun, that's it. Um, it's it stands for you. It's Scandinavian for you. So it's a Scandinavian language yung yes. yung word na Sven. Yes. So I like that story, grabe, ang ganda. So guys, um if I may if I may ask, so si Rizal muna din si Sab. Uh, what are the challenges of being a parent entrepreneur? So can you give me some kunyari like what are the challenges, big or small? The the nuances, yung mga ganon, If if it's okay. Siguro yung first challenge that would really take up, like that would be all encompassing for me personally, would be time. Um, time that time and presence. Sorry, dalawa pala. Time and presence. Time because there's really a lot that you need to do. Both as a parent and as um, and, and in, in driving a business forward, and um, sometimes you feel like you don't have enough. So that's one time, and second is presence. Because um, in both aspects, you need to be fully present for for you to be able to really uh, do what you need to do. So in the context of business, for example, you need to be present so that you can be there for your team so that you'll be able to guide them the right way and lead them the right way. And in terms of motherhood, it's also the same. 
you need to be present because it's the only way that your children will really um, feel that they have a mom. Diba? And at the same time, for you to really get to know your children and attend to what to attend to their needs and also help them thrive and grow. Uh, so there, so time and presence. Um, and in both kasi, uh, I feel like it's 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 not easy to <laughs> to yun yung dalawang I feel yes. big challenges. Ang hirap eh. Ang hirap talaga yes. na ang hirap na mabigay ng buo yung time sa kapresence yes. sa dalawa na yun. And of course, you have to account for the fact that it's not just your kids but also your husband. And, yes, and, I agree. So, talagang time talaga. Time and Pero person, parang so. I agree with what you said na parang talagang you need to give time to your I mean, the whole family, the kids. Kasi when you're a kid, yun talaga yung remember nila yung the time eh, The time that you mm-hmm. gave them. So, I agree na talagang what you mentioned was yung time talaga. So, you have to be talagang time for dito sa work and time dito sa family. So, parang I agree na parang I agree with what you said. Totally. So, um, next naman, uh, kay Sab naman tayo. So, Sab, uh, same question. What are the challenges of Can you give I us think, a... you know, Reza summed it up. It's time and presence. But if I may add, uh, I think it's the intentionality of uh, being intentional uh, in doing all these things. We may be able to uh, we may we may be able to be present, and we may be able to be to spend time. But we have to do it intentionally um, in terms of spending time, diba? Uh, in you know in early childhood education there's this thing called uh floor time uh so in th- you just don't sit in a room with your child diba? or uh, f- uh fidget with your phone you have to really do floor time when you want to play with your children you have to go on the floor play with them gusto nila barbie gusto nila kitchen set, gusto nila Lego, di ba? or magna tiles, etc. So you have to be intentional in doing that. Um, you know, I'm always humbled whenever my daughter or son reminds us that, Mom, you're here, but you're not spending time with me. You're not playing with me, di ba? So I guess yun yung another factor for me um, cha- uh, as a challenge in becoming a mother. You have to marry your, you know, your 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 business, your 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 being a mom. You know, you really have to uh, adhere to your hierarchy of, uh, you know, uh, your relationship with uh, each person. So you have to be intentional in being a mother. You have to be intentional in, in being a boss. You have to be intentional in creating flower, floral arrangements. You know. So talagang when you you have to put your phone down, tas talagang you have to engage, you know. That's what you're saying, no? You yes. have to engage with your children, with your work. So talagang hindi nila parang it's like what you're saying is na you have to be really there, not na you're there but you're not there. Parang ganon, di ba? Like that. Yan talaga presence. Parang you have to be really present, not just physically present, but mentally, emotionally. Full, fully present. Diba? I think nag-answer ka na email. And then, Mom, how do I add this and this? Mom, this, what is your message? Mom, what is photosynthesis? Mga ganon. So, yes. Nasa meeting ka, tapos sa mom, salita sila, lalo na ngayong work from home. Pero, um, grateful also that clients and in general, the people I work with are very gracious um, and they understand. They understand. Yes, yes. You know, the, uh, Surprisingly, people are very, very uh, forgiving, uh, yes. de ba? Towards uh, working mothers, like for example, se- although seldom does it happen. Ah, uh, there was one time na my child was sick, so I had to forego doing uh, an, an an activity. Um, I mean, uh, an arrangement just to attend to my sick child, and instead of the client canceling. She said, 
attend to your child first. If you can send it today, then send it today. If you can't, send it tomorrow. Ganun. Kasi sometimes on Sundays, my staff are on break. So I do the flowers by, by myself. Ganun. So people are very forgiving. They understand the, the situation, you know, like right now, you know, talagang they understand yung, ang maganda ngayon, people really understand the situation. So... If you're honest about, if you're honest about a particular situation, you know, and res, uh, you respect the client as well, they respond similarly. Yeah, um, I've told um, a client in in one meeting, I've actually mentioned that I apologize for not being able to open my camera because I was breastfeeding my kid. <laughs> ah, yes, yes. <laughs> Siyempre, kailangan off yung camera. <laughs> oh, ayun, okay naman. I mean, they, they, they are okay with it. I, um, I have this experience na recently. I, it's, it was my daughter's birthday. Um, and then, I had, ano, I had a, I had to attend to uh, clients, uh, orders I forgot <laughs> I forgot to say no and I couldn't say no to her because she's my girl crush so <laughs> ang ginawa ko okay I brought lang Avery yun. with me <laughs> yeah it's okay it's okay you know, um, I brought Avery with me um, her, her her husband they're both government officials um, and then <laughs> we went into their house sabi nung anak ko lumabas yung uh, husband, sabi niya, who are you? <laughs> uh, who are you? Are you the boss of this house? <laughs> I'm here to have a mom. And I was like, sick, I'm really sorry. <laughs> sabi niya, no, 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 be sorry. No, they're, they're, they're very, they're very forgiving. They're very, ano, um, understanding. Yeah. Actually, Nakakawa. buti nga yung mga tao ngayon, they really understand. Guys, we have a question from Candy Teng. Uh, so uh, I'll let Rizal uh, answer this, or if you want, you can both answer it. Uh, during this pandemic, since the setup has become work from home, what are the ways you create balance being a mom, a wife, and an entrepreneur? Um, siguro, I I take from Sab's answer earlier. The best answer here would probably be first, intentionality. You need to be intentional about uh, really making time for everything that you need to make time for. Um, but of course, that's not, it's it's easier said than done. So I guess uh, the things that I've done would be uh, to really set certain boundaries. Like for example, uh, our work starts at 8, 30, 8 o'clock, but I don't set now that, for example, my 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 second daughter is already attending nursery, I don't set meetings or alignments from eight to nine so that I can be there for her during her classes. Um, and then uh, I guess ano pa ba? really Honestly, no, it's just really making it work. Yun. Ang yes. hirap niyang sagutin kasi it's, it's not a formula. It's yes. it's really about just ensuring that um, are able to attend to everything. So, kunay, what I do is um, while I'm at work, while I'm while I while I have meetings because normally I have uh, back-to-back meetings from 9 o'clock all the way to 6 to 7 in the evening. And um, so what I do is I I, while I'm in the meeting, I also, um, I have my, my, my second daughter with me and uh, I, I let her do activities beside me so that she also learns while I'm working. But at least we're, we're still together, even if I'm yes. fully at work. So um, basic, and then, go, go, sorry, sorry, go ahead. No, 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 it's okay, Johnny. So go, go, go. basically, parang time management and multitasking at the same time. Oh, okay, oh, oh. Pero yeah. parang I wouldn't say I have the perfect formula because sometimes I feel like if I if I didn't have too much work um, I would be able to give so much more to my children and you know it's 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 a pain point for me because sometimes I really feel like I can do so much more as a mom if I'm just not 
too busy. No, well. but I think you guys are doing great. To be honest, uh, to be perfectly honest, I think you guys are doing perfectly great. So, um, kind for me, so kind. No, no, really. <laughs> to be honest, talaga, honest, honest to God opinion. So, um, this, uh, ito naman si Sab muna. Uh, what does your day-to-day routine look like? Uh, give us a, can you give us a peek in your daily routine? Gano, and then after Sab, Razel naman. Um, I will defer most of the answers to from with uh, Razel's answers a while ago about ano, time management. Yun. So, um, I guess in terms of routine, walang routine eh. You know, it, as, as, a, as a mom, you have to be ready for anything. Sometimes, I also homeschool. So, in the mornings, mostly it's answering queries and emails. Um, my children have Singapore math classes in the morning. So, uh, yun, while they're having uh, their Singapore math classes, uh, I I check on emails, check on ano, orders. Tapos, uh, we're in... We're in the process of uh, finishing our website. Natakot ako sabihin si Razel na sula ko website. <laughs> Then, no, it's... Good. it's... Um, uh, yun, uh, because I know I, I opted for, 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 for a website so that it will help me attend to the queries faster. Because if it's just through Instagram and mobile, you have to be personal with everybody, di ba? But yes. I guess that's what I want din naman with every arrangement. You have, you can be personal with every, with each and every uh, arrangement. It's like, yes. my question is, for you, it's like you getting into a flower shop without actually physically being in a flower shop. Yes. And then you can say, ang flowers na favorite ni Razel, tulips. Oh, Tapos, alam mo pa. Right? Yeah. Diba? I remember, I remember. Wow. Love tulips. Galing ah. Um, and then sub to sabihin ni RV uh, but I also <laughs> like peonies so well at peonies because peonies were my wedding flowers parang example ganun and Razor loves yellow uh, she used to love yellow I'm not sure now <laughs> so, so talagang may personal touch eh, no? yes, talagang yes. parang oh, it, it also work for you kasi parang pag nag message parang talagang personal touch yes. talaga with each and every client. Yes. So so after attending to clients, we do homeschooling. Um in between homeschooling, I usually cook lunch. You know, I have to make special mention to my husband, you know, because uh he affords me the time to spend with my children. You know, that's a that's the biggest luxury and blessing of all. You know, being it, being being present in the lives of our children while they're growing up. Yes, and then, I agree. In the afternoon, they take a nap. And then when they take a nap, tatakbo na ako sa flower shop. I and agree. then, pagising na, Mom, where are you? Babalik na ako sa bahay. Yun. So, and then we cook dinner. And then, yun na. Uh, nighttime habits na. After. I agree. Shout out sa mga husbands din talaga. So, we thank God for them also. So, how about you, Hazel? How does your day-to-day look like? If you could just um, give us a brief, I know. Yeah, uh, we start the day. My husband and I, we read the Bible together. Uh, that happen. Sometimes it doesn't happen because, for example, I have to cram for a presentation for the day, and I have to do it before the kids wake up. So sometimes it doesn't happen. But normally, what we would do is we try to start our day by reading the Bible together, and then we wake up the kids, um, and then. Uh, they they get dressed, they, they they prepare for school, and then once they're ready for school, I start working again beside my 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 nursery daughter. Uh, my other daughter, naman, she she already um, does online schooling on her own. Uh, so, yon. Uh, after that, then it will be a series of meetings na throughout the day. So it will be meetings with my team, my different teams, depending on. The different client partners and then uh while that's happening i also attend to aki she she, she normally stays beside me and then you know like i said earlier like that now and then uh i try to while in while 
while in meetings, I I I, I sit with my family for lunch. Um, so I multitask even lunch. Um, and then at the end of the day, normally, uh, if if I don't uh, end up uh, extending my meetings to eight, then uh, we 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 end the day with a quick devotion with the kids. So we we read uh, we we read the characters Bible. We actually finished it recently. So ganda niya kasi. So every day they learn a new value. Yun ba yung character building Bible? Rated. Yes! Sobrang ganda niya. Ayan. So, I really recommend it. Ang dami kong binigyan nung Christmas. <laughs> there, Bigyan mo rin um, ako. Bigyan. Bakapata siya. Ayan. And then now, we moved on to a devotion book na ano, uh, indescribable. So, it's about science naman. So that the kids will see Um, the story of creation in a different way. Yeah, so so that's that's our day. And then while the kids are sleeping, I I get in some more work while we're letting them sleep. So because my husband and I, we 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 while in the middle of the day, we cannot take care of our kids as much. Um, yung umaga nila, sa kain gabi nila, kami talaga. So we bathe them, we we let them go to sleep. Yeah. Guys. May question tayo from Karine Cheng. Hi, Cars! And Hi, so, Karine! For, si Abby rin. Hi, Abby! Shout out to so Abby. For, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, for... Yeah, yeah. So, for both of you, um, let's start with uh, Sab muna, then Razel. So, um, ang tanong ni Karine, uh, so nice to see you both. What has been the best lesson your kids have taught you? Um, for me, I guess humility and uh, modeling, walking our talk, because children they hear not through their ears; they hear through their eyes. They really learn through their eyes. You can you can be saying, uh, "Stop shouting," but while you're saying "Stop shouting," you are shouting. So instead of them learning not to shout and to be just be graceful. They will learn. They will learn when you say stop shouting. You can shout, diba? So when you say you have to have the the most freaking thing about being parents is, you know, uh, just like what uh, Razel said, you you're you're responsible for your children, and then most of the time, if you hear uh, complaints about your kids, it it's a it's a reflection towards how you're raising your kids if you're spending time i think i know yun yung gauge ko eh. if if my children are rowdy in a crowd um i get you know it it really is about modeling it's about yes. you know if they're gra- gracious in answering questions perhaps they see you also gracious in answering questions if they're they, if they see you share if um they see you The, the most blatant I mean the most obvious example is uh, you know children um, obey your parents di ba uh, ngayon pa lang uh, there's this song di ba si Robert Green or is it Robert yeah Robert Green um, there's a song about uh, uh, honor your father and mother you know these praise songs I play daily in our home just so my kids will uh, absorb it Because they're like sponges, they absorb everything very quickly. So when we see, when I see my in-laws, I do beso, I do kiss. Before, ngayon hindi, bawal. <laughs> so yes. you know, we say hi, mama, de ba? Tasa sabihin niya, mom, you're tired. Why are you still cooking for lunch? And I would tell my daughter because I want to bring lunch to ama, de ba? Oh, yes. mom, why are you buying oranges? Because I want to give oranges for, um. Guacong, ganon. So yes. it's really modeling and um, humility because we're not perfect, and we need to own up to our mistakes. Um, I apologize to my children in times that I lose focus, if, especially if I am overwhelmed. Uh, you know, going back to the question of Candy about you know working from home, but ba- um, not really balancing. But how do you get about? Uh, your career, your work, your family. It's about car sabi nga Reza, it's about carving time. It's you have to carve time so that you won't feel overwhelmed any time yes. of the day. Because if while you're say example, while I'm homeschooling, if I while I'm home homeschooling and I'm attending to orders, 
it makes me overwhelmed and it takes my intention intention to teach my children and then they will learn that if i i can be i can be a teacher but i can you know i can be an parang i'm not intentional about it you know so it's humility and modeling yes so i agree na talagang walk the talk and then yung humility nga talaga so now let's go to reason uh yung question on any cars uh, you know i would agree with sab exactly exactly the same uh intentional as in role modeling uh is really the key um parenting technique if you really want them to be good then they have to see that you're also a good person if you want them to love the lord then they have to see yes. that you also love the lord Um, if you want them to be excellent in the things that they do, they have to also see that you pursue excellence yourself. Um, and then same also humility. Um, I was going to say, uh, you know, in terms of uh, one of the things that I really learned as a parent is, you know what, it's okay to make mistakes. It's okay if, if I make a mistake, if my kids make a mistake, if my husband makes a mistake, it's okay. We, we all learn from it. And we apologize to each other when we make mistakes. I think it's one of the things that I, I feel um, is a key difference between parents today and our, our parents. Because our parents, yes. Yes. You know, yes. they don't have to explain. Uh, but I think in our case, in our generation, as parents, we're really, you know, intentionally, talaga. we're intentional about uh, admitting to our mistakes. Communicating it well to our children and making them understand that we are also imperfect and like them, we just really grow each day. So same, love, same case. Yeah. Yes, yes, nice. I love your answers. Talagang it's not what you say, it's what you do. And at the same time, na parang if nagkamali ka, you just say sorry to them. Parang ganon na eh. you have to be humility talaga. So guys, alam niyo naman pag gumaganda yung kwentuhan, medyo alam mo yun, nagugutom ako eh. Alam mo, may alam akong masarap na lamb curry in town. Uh, <laughs> uh, si Chef Jeff Tan of at the chinky underscore chef on Instagram, uh, he will be giving away one pack of lamb curry. So, alam mo yun guys, to win. Ax! Oo, oh, grabe. Alam mo naman yun si Chef Jeff. Pwede ba kami sumali? Oo, eh. Oh, <laughs> eh, yes, of course. O, oh, sasabihin ko yung mechanics ha. You have to give a, a comment or uh, yung or give a question na maganda and then after that put hashtag JCA 2002 and then you will you will have a chance to as a Facebook ah and you have to like the Facebook page and share this live and you just have to comment and hashtag JCA 2002 and then we will pick the best question or the best comment. Wait, aside doon, meron tayong cash price ng 2,000 pesos. So, same mechanics din. You have to comment. The best comment wins or the best question wins. After the question or comment, hashtag JCA2002. And share. Please share the live and the page. So, guys, kayo, kung gusto nyo, pwede rin kayo mag-comment. <laughs> kung gusto nyo manalo ng lamb curry at saka if you want to win the prize, the cash prize. So, guys, alam naman natin na we need to draw inspiration from somewhere, for some, from something, from somewhere. Ako, guys, I draw inspiration from God and, of course, my beautiful fiancé, you know, talagang, she's giving me What's strength. What's her name? What's her Katrina, name, Daddy? Katrina, Katrina. Hi, Katrina. Katrina. So, Hi, talaga, Katrina. Hope to meet you. Do you have questions <laughs> for Danny? <laughs> Hindi, ano na lang next time. <laughs> so, parang that's where I draw my strength from. So, guys, so, mabalik ko lang sa inyo. So, si Sab muna din, Razel. Uh, who or what are the things that where you draw your inspiration and, you know, the strength for each and every day? So, Sab, ikaw muna. Pwede ikaw muna. <laughs> ah, ako. Or si Razel muna. No, 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 you were able to answer, no. I think okay, for so... inspiration, pre-pandemic, because it's about flowers and, you know, as much as 
ano, as, as best as we can, we try to arrange flowers in the most natural way uh, possible. You know, just like when you see them on the gardens of uh, Versailles, the tulips of, you know, the tulips in Germany, in Holland, ganun. So, uh, but ger- now, I, I, I take comfort and inspiration from daily devotionals. Like, uh, I name particular arrangements to either uh, a, a woman from the Bible, like Naomi, Ruth, etc. Um, uh, most times, I name it after uh, friends that have inspired me to, you know, to go above what is uh, what is normal, um, not to be mediocre. Um, to to my fe- uh, to to the members of the D group I, I I attend. Special shout out to Camille and Neil Makashars from the Kings group who's watching now. Um, you know, uh, <laughs> other <laughs> other people who encourage me. You know, uh, you there really is a power in the words that you say or you, the words that you messages that you send like. No sab um the flowers made my wife really happy you know um it it perked her up ganun. so these are encouraging enough for me and then from there uh sometimes when people also order they tell me without me prompting them they share me their life stories and then what the recipient's uh uh challenges were how she overcome these challenges so from there you get inspired to arrange because flowers they're beautiful on their own um i am just a channel of god's blessing by putting these together grabe ang ganda ng i love your answer talagang parang just parang talagang ang ganda talaga parang Straight just forward lang naman the yeah. flowers you know if it's about love then you show love it's about yes. forgiveness you're asking forgiveness say nakalimutan mo months na rin yun ni Katrina, di ba? Ay, hindi. Hindi so, natin makakalimutan yun. <laughs> <laughs> yun. So, yun lang. Straightforward the flowers. Yes. So, it's not as complicated um, as and rigorous as I think Razel's yes. uh, work. <laughs> yes. I love your every, answer, Sam. I think, Sam, so, every, every output is not yes. easy. It yes. takes heart. Yes. It takes investedness. To be able yes. to create great stuff. Yes. I wouldn't heart say that mine is hard. Oh, iba talaga. <laughs> Hindi siya. It's 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 not one is not harder than the other. Everything is equal. Um, to your sakin, I would say everywhere would be the source of inspiration for my work. Um, so I do creative and strategy work, and that means uh, I have to always understand how consumers think, so that. Uh, we can craft the right messages and the right strategies to be able to connect with them, to be able to help them also as we help the brands that we that we represent, that we work with. Um, and essentially, when it comes to strategy, you have to start with the consumers. So you really have to understand what they're thinking, where they're at now, what are their behaviors. So I guess that's one part of where I would take inspiration the realities of what's happening, the realities of where the consumers are and what they're going through. Um, second would be, when I say everywhere, everywhere talaga. So what I watch on Netflix, um, what my kids watch on YouTube, Netflix, um, what I see on social media, what I hear from, from the people I work with, um, from my friends, everything. Um, creativity comes from anywhere. And sometimes, uh, it's surprising where the best idea or the next big idea comes from. So I guess my answer to you would, would be every everywhere. And everywhere, everywhere. Oh, oh, kasi hindi mo talaga alam saan siya manggagal. It could even come from just a random comment of a person you're talking to and then, uy, that's the perfect statement to use for yes. a campaign. Ganyan. So, Parang yeah. light bulb sa- moment, <laughs> eh, no? Everywhere. Oh, oh. So guys, um, Gusto ko lang, uh, i- I would like to ano, thank our sponsors kasi grabe talaga tong mga sponsors natin, our partners. This show wouldn't be possible without them. So guys, um, 
I want to thank them, uh, our co-presenters, uh, Emperador Distillers, Inc., uh, our Platinum Partners, Tosca Packaging Systems Corporation, Jubilee Christian Academy, and um, I would like to also thank our Gold Partners as Attorney Mix, VA Gallery PH, um, The Chinky Chef, and... Um, our silver partner, CAA Pacific Realty. Guys, so medyo ano, so medyo yun na nga, nagkwento na tayo about the experiences of being a mom and the challenges. So guys, medyo relax muna tayo ngayon. So medyo magmi-mix tayo ng nostalgia and um, basta uh, the, uh, yung good times in the past. So medyo magpa-fast talk tayo. Uh, credits to the owner kay Tito Boy kasi baka alam mo na. <laughs> so, so medyo we're gonna do fast talk. Um, so guys, uh, pwede kayo mag-answer. Uh, so eto muna, first question. Uh, burger machine or Domino's? Dominos. Dominos? Hindi pala fast ang bagay. <laughs> okay. 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 It's okay. It's okay. Um, wedding booth or horror booth? Wedding booth. Wedding booth. <laughs> okay. Good answer. Um, uh, scramble or fishball? Fishball. Chicken ball. Chicken ball. Chicken ball meron? Um, uh, Magnolia chicken, fried chicken, or Jollibee fried chicken? Jollibee. Chicken <laughs> uh, um, We still have questions here. Uh, PE or arts? Arts. By far, arts. <laughs> Sadly. Hindi ako. PE? Uh. Ako, PE. Ako, PE din ako. <laughs> P.E. din ako. Alam mo, magpapakatotoo na ako. P.E. ako. <laughs> uh, um, wait ah. I still have more questions here. For you guys. Uh, Chinese garter or jackstone? Garter. Garter. Ako, jackstone ako. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Robinson's Galleria or Green Hills? Green Hills. Yes. Same, Green Hills din ako. Uh, um, Polvoron or Yema? Yema. Uh, hello? Yema. Yema, Hazel, Yema. Yema. Okay, um... Guys, uh, so I have other questions here para ma-relax. Uh, let me see. Hindi ako nare-relax na sa question. <laughs> uh, sige, sige, sige. Uh, Tatawin mo next, Johnny. Hindi, wala, wala. Pastok lang tayo. Uh, okay. Last na. Uh, aso or pusa? I have a dog. I have a chihuahua. His name is Sheldon. Nice. <laughs> Inspired by the Big Bang Theory. Kasi payatot siya. Kaya. <laughs> dog. How about you, Sam? Cat or dog? Um, Dog. I'm allergic to cats. Uh, kaya lang our dogs. Um, the last of our two dogs died last three weeks ago. She was... She was a uh, she's a chow chow. She was, I think, fifteen human years old. Next swimming pa yon no on doy. Sino next swimming yung ano? Yung dogs no on doy. Oh oh. Grabe. She died uh, three three ano three weeks ago. Oh, yes. Yeah, you know when 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 uh, the do dogs are like really family members. Um. Well, the dogs are with my dad. 
So it it's really my dad's heartbreak first. Mas sobra niya um, umiiyak siya. <laughs> Di ba ang takad ng daddy ko na umiiyak siya pag mayroon dog na nakamatay. But it's very hard to take care of it because, you know, I'm not really a fan of goodbyes. So when when they leave, really it's... Ano. I agree, mahirap. Kasi I also But have a golden retriever. But they're already in doggy heaven. They're, yeah, it's okay. Really... May cartoons naman, all dogs go to heaven naman eh. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, guys, medyo... <laughs> Tumatapos si Ness. <laughs> Medyo, we'll shift to medyo business questions na. Pero, don't worry. It's gonna be ano. So, um, first of all, si Razel muna. Can you give us a brief background of your company? Well, we're, Sven is a digital first agency. We, we do end-to-end digital. Uh, so, we currently, we... We work with multinationals such as L'Oreal Philippines, um, Unilever, Toyota, uh, and a lot of other companies like Meralco, SM Supermalls, Philippine Airlines. Um, we're also working with Colgate Palmolive. So we're working with a lot of multinationals and basically um, <coughs> providing different dig- digital services to them. So for some, we... Uh, we We provide uh, social media services. For others, we do innovation or technology. That means platforms like websites, um, um, apps. But at the same time, we also do e-commerce strategy for, for our other partners. So in a nutshell, Sven is a digital first agency. Even if we do end-to-end digital, our thrust in our core would be strategic effectiveness, um, banking on three things. So social media, innovation, and omni-channel. That's Sven. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Sab, uh, can you give us a brief background of your company also and what are the service and products that you offer? Um, The flower shop caters too. Hindi ko alam talaga, naisigur ako sa answer niya. No, 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 it's okay, it's okay. Ano ka ba, Sab? No. I know we celebrate, you know, each and every yes. woman's accomplishments and lives. Um, beyond flowers, we do fresh floral arrangements. We have preserved floral arrangements and we have recently dried and um, the dried varieties, you know. Uh, and then, you know, I, I'm just guided by two things. Uh, think out the box, think out of the box, and go the extra mile. And, and then use my brand as. You know, we go beyond the flowers. And it's it's pretty straightforward. Yeah. Actually, I like it kasi talaga yung products nyo are very premium and talagang you go above and beyond for the customer talaga. So, uh, we, we we also cater to ano, uh, uh, corporate, uh, co- uh, court to corporate. Um, but mostly what we have are, you know, personal consumptions kasi syempre mas marami nagbibigay yes, ng flowers on a day-to-day basis of because course. of a person's birthday. Yes. So, I love your answers, guys. Um, so, next, um, uh, how do you, in, uh, if it's okay for me to ask um, si Sab muna, um, how do you encourage uh, creativity and diversity of ideas within the company i am i am not a micromanager i believe in trusting your staff you know putting trust in your staff i believe in letting them uh flourish you know uh, i want to make a shout out to my staff brian you know we started really the flower shop without uh, with no without any idea on how to you know operate a flower shop Uh, dati, takot-takot ako gumawa ng bouquet. Even if ang dami kong workshops na attendan But now, okay, bouquet, sige, go. Yun, ganun na lang. Um, you know, I, 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 I guess, creativity ste- uh, comes also from the encouragement of you as a creative director, as an owner, na you, you make sure that your staff is comfortable and uh, you empower the staff. Uh, you, you're not Uh, your 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 words are for full of grace and not judgment, de diba? For them to flourish, you know. Just as I think, running a business, um, treating your staff is also like treating yourself. But diba? your 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 company is also sometimes as good as 
your staff as well, di ba? So, if you take care of your staff, I think your staff, um, they feel it really. And then, because you want to go the extra mile and they're invested, you're invested in them and that they become invested in you. So, that's how we do creativity. We also, in terms of flowers naman, it's mostly innovative packaging, innovative manipulation of the flowers, um, introducing new accents, you know, even the slightest change in font and the slightest change of the shade in ribbons. Um, it make, it creates an impact, a very, very big impact when you mix pink and black. Usually, ayo yan ng tao. But when they see how black and pink are complementary to each other, ano, they, they, they go for it. So, it's more, more we're more, ano, um, visual then as well in terms of uh, more hands-on in creating new products. You know? So we also do uh, research like, you know, I, also, I always share now when you want, you know, everything else is competitive and I don't want to be, you know, guide, guided and uh, focus on being competitive because, you know, I don't want to be compared to other flower shops because it's, Per flower shop, there's a story behind the owner of the flower shop, why they put up the flower shop, right? So yes. as much as we can, we try to remain original um, to our arrangements. Um, sometimes when clients uh, come to you with a specific arrangement from another flower, flower shop and you know that you really can't do it, no, uh, kahit anong gawin mo, you can't uh, come up with the same arrangement. We're very yes. honest also in saying that this is... Um, might also order from that flower shop as well. You yes. know? So, creativity also takes in humility. Creativity also takes in um, the realization that you can't be, you can't know it all. As well. Yes. And so, talagang, like what, oh, like ayan, what go, Rachel go mentioned a while ago, diba? it just comes from, you know, it pops. It pops. You know? Yes. Um, most of the time, I bring my children to the flower shop before. I let them think, tinker with twigs and all. You know, lo and behold, I came up with an arrangement that yes. Avery conceptualized. Uh, you know, my my signature box, it's called the Avery Love Box. I'll ask Ness to bring down a box, you know. Um, yes. It was a concept by Avery. You know, she put a round, bo- a round, a cylinder inside the box. Tapos sabi ko, oh nga, no, pwedeng surprise box. Tapos she saw uh, cuttings of ribbons. Tapos she put it on top. So it's really... Anywhere. Yeah. Talagang, when you take care of your staff and give them that creative freedom, and talagang, when you treat them like the way they treat you, talagang, it just pops na talagang, everything works out for the best. So, same question with Rachel about uh, creativity and diversity, but wait, we have to also thank our sponsors, our partners for making this event um, possible na kung wala sila talagang and you guys talagang we want to thank everyone for making this event special so um, we'll be right back we're gonna take a commercial break first but Rizal be ready ah. later ikaw naman
Hi, hello guys. So, uh, we're back. We're back. Um, so now, um, we're, where we left off, so we're gonna ask Grazel naman for um, about creativity and diversity in the workplace. Or type diversity na lang, kasi I think she also answered creativity na how to instill it. Or she answered um, where she gets the inspiration. Pero yun na nga, creativity and diversity. So, yun. So, hi Rizel. So, ikaw naman. Uh, um, to, to answer your question, we don't really limit who we will be hiring to be part of Sven. So, as a digital agency, um, and generally, typically with advertising agencies, they actually hire, the industry practice is to hire ex, um, experienced individuals from the industry. We don't do that first and foremost. We, we, we always open opportunities for even those who are not part of the industry because from what we've seen, there are a lot of people who are actually able to offer so much even if they haven't had experience in advertising or digital marketing. Um, second would be uh, we don't discriminate uh, any 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 gender any any even any any types of um, belief systems. Uh, uh, so we don't discriminate on who we bring into the company. Uh, and I think that kind of diversity of people also helps in driving different kinds of perspectives when it comes to. Um, assessing what each brand needs. Because we also um, assign different people based on where they fit best. Um, so brands. Uh, and then openness, I guess, just to add to how we're able to cultivate creativity and innovation. Uh, how we do it is we really do a lot of brainstorming together. And we recognize that the ideas can come from anyone. It can come from someone from the art team or someone from the content team or for even sometimes from the development team. We're planning for a technical reform. Uh, 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 it's, it's the recognition that the best ideas do not necessarily come from the leads, but from anyone in the team, even the juniors. And ah, last, pala, uh, so you're one thing that enables us to to keep uh, being able to create new and uh, innovative experiences would be um, the frame of mind. I always tell my team that uh, we can't think of anything or we can't pursue anything that has been done already. Um, we always try to come up with something that is an evolution of what has worked in the past, but is also relevant the now. So, yun, so it's it's a, a mindset of constant disruption to be able to create uh, better things constantly. So basically, parang everyone can come in and contribute regardless of parang from whatever walks of life or kung different departments can put input into the product. Yeah, because every, every, every planning session Meron coming planning team uh, from different departments. So. Uh, guys, um, um, so, um, so, eto, uh, meron tayong mga questions from our viewers. So, uh, let me go back here. So, see. Oh, from Charlene Ong, um, for both of you, uh, what is it like to uh, like finding your voice as a woman and a mom? So, Sab, you go first. Sorry, can you repeat that question? Ah, yeah. Sorry. Uh, what is it like finding your voice as a woman and a mom? So. That's from Sorry. 
Thank you for that question. <laughs> yes, yes, okay. No, I, I'm just trying to know make things light. Um, oh, I yeah, think you've always had the voice. What your voice before is still your voice now. It's just that as you, not as you age, <laughs> no, but you know, as you become wiser, diba? Uh, you become more confident. You become more uh, aware of what you are. Um, guided uh, by what, what what you are capable of doing what you are what you can do about what limits you what drives you so you 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 don't learn it how do I put it uh, it has it has always been in you you just have to have the right framework the right set of mind the right uh, um, at the right the perfect environment for it to for you to hone it yun um doesn't matter if you're a woman or a man or what gender uh, you are uh, it's really about uh getting to know yourself as well yun. it doesn't also it doesn't also come with age as well so you can be young and you can be wise you know it it really differs you just have to be confident to be able to speak to be able to you know kasi ang, ang, ang number especially in businesses then i think in, in my case the number one uh uh challenge I, i i face is what if i can't do it and then you know there's a book that says it's a it's a bedtime story for kids oh what if you can diba? so you start with what if you can how you can do it and you don't uh entertain thoughts of self doubt because once you entertain thoughts of self doubt wala na yan diba so if you feel like it you're confident you've prayed about it you've heard about you know you 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 uh, gotten your answer uh, a green light from god and you know everything falls into place there you have your use your voice i love what you said na parang parang wala yung doubts eh parang binaliktad mo what if i can do it diba, diba? Parang I think ganun. the story is, mom, what if I can't fly, diba? What if I fall? And then the mom said, oh, son, what if you can fly? Ganun. Ang ganda nun, ha? Ang ganda nun, so nice. ha? I like that, ha? I, I forgot the story or where I read it, but it's mostly from uh, books from the children, from children's books. Ang ganda nun, ang ganda nun. So... Um so same question um yung tinanong ni Charlene uh for you naman Razel uh hirap niya sagutin ano <laughs> parang, parang anything oh, pero wala na sa questionnaire ah diba ano, diba? kasi yung mga um, viewers natin may mga viewers kasi sila galing <laughs> I would say For me personally, I when I was young, Sab would know this. I was a very insecure kid. I wasn't really confident uh, growing up, and I guess when I when I finally faced the world and and saw how how it worked, because I was a very sheltered child. I don't know We all were, <laughs> diba? Um, I realized that. My capacity as a woman, um, there's so much to what I can do as a woman, and in the same way, there's so much that every single woman can do as well. And we're all different, but I think that realization enabled me to embrace my own self worth and also how I saw myself. Parang before I would I would just feel that I I wasn't enough, but then. When I finally realized that I was beautiful in my own way and I was strong and capable in my own way, I think that enabled me to thrive and and overcome any challenge and basically pursue breakthroughs. Um, in Sven, our current well for the past three four years, our our, our theme is really in breaking through, um, and I think that's also aligned with how I I see myself being represented as a woman and how I, you know, how, you know, how I recognize my voice as a woman, as a mom, or as an entrepreneur. Uh, breaking through means breaking through 
any fears, hesitations, doubts. But at the same time, it's in breaking through these um, initial hesitations or stoppers that you're able to actually push yourself forward to create breakthroughs. Um, and I guess that's th that to me is what I, I, I discovered when I found my voice as a woman, that you can always keep breaking through. Um, so I, an example would be, uh, we, for example, and uh, this is not related to just being a woman, but generally finding your voice. Um, when we entered the industry, we didn't have any background in digital advertising because we, we didn't, we weren't, we weren't in the advertising industry. I was in brand management prior to Sven. Um, and so we didn't know anyone in the industry. And but we still, you know, we 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 were able to get through because we worked hard and by God's grace, we were able to really also give what the clients were wanted. Um, but um, to give an example of really being able to find your voice and push forward and break through is um, three years ago, we decided to, to get ourselves out there and basically submit ourselves as and vie for Agency of the Year in the Philippines. Um, so it's by Campaign Asia. And uh, because we tried, you know, in to say, wala namang mawawala if you try. Um, we we got recognized and it's been consistent um and it's been three years already that we've been getting that recognition and you know without finding your voice and recognizing that you are capable that you can do it that you can actually break through well you you sayang everything will be every opportunity will be yours pero guys i love your answers talagang you just have to talagang Dig deep, tas parang just go out there talaga. So guys, um, oh, I yes. agree, I agree. Uh, guys, um, and I know when you uh, when you put yourself out there, don't be afraid to make failures. I mean, you just learn from it, chuck it to experience, you know, and then man, learn from it, nga, diba? Go so forward. You, I, yeah, because we, we all have learning curves. And every day, we also learn, diba? We learn every day different things. Kaya, don't be afraid to fail. Or if you, if you, if you're encountering challenges right now, uh, look at it in a different perspective, diba? So, it's easier said than done. Sometimes we wallow in self-pity pa, diba? Know, but... <laughs> yes. We all have those times. Diba? We have those times. But... Yes. Look, look, Sabi nga sa children's book, diba? What if you can fly, diba? Sobrang ganda nun. I like that, ah. What if you can fly, diba? Parang, ang ganda. So, guys, final words. Um, batchmates, any advice for parents who want to di dive in into being an entrepreneur? So, Sab, you go first. Any advice for kung sinong gustong pumasok dito sa ganto? Ang hirap ng question, Johnny. Uh, <laughs> de, parang for personally, parang anong mga advice mo sa mga parents na parang thinking of na they also want to be like you guys na business, business, businessmen, businesswomen. I guess be kind to yourself. No, uh, you are your worst judge. Be kind to yourself. Ah. Uh, there will always, like what I've said, there will always be challenging times ahead. Um, the world is not about yourself, even if the culture dictates, dictates it so. Um, it's not just about you. It's about you and your environment and your environment in you. Um, the more you look at it uh, in uh, a selfish perspective, the more you will start to doubt yourself, diba? Uh, I'm not, I don't have, example, I don't have enough capital. Um, my my friends may think na, um, ay, she's starting a business. Baka her husband is not supporting her, diba? Um, uh, you know, all these, all these thoughts, 
uh, wag mo pangunahan yung sarili mo. Don't get ahead of yourselves. Just be kind to yourself. To, to yourself. And, you know, um, also trust in God in everything and in ano, in anything and in everything. You lift it up to God. Um, what you ask, you will receive uh, guidance. You ask God uh, for it. Uh, hindi, sabi nga sa Tagalog, hindi madamot ang Diyos. Um, you know, um, Some people, diba, when you ask help, he, they will extend their hands. You know, but God has already extended everything else to you. Diba? So just be confident and your confidence should be uh, from the Lord. Godly confidence. And you'll be amazed at what you can do. Just make sure you start. Because if you don't put yourself out there, you won't know. Um, nasa huli ang pagsisisi. Right? So... Uh, there. I love your answer. You just go go out there. (laughs) Yeah. Just go beyond. Just put yourself out there and just do it. So, um, Kirizel naman, what would be your advice also to the aspiring parent entrepreneurs that want, also want to be like you guys? Girl, I would speak from my own experience, my personal experience na lang. Uh, I guess the first thing would be uh, to really, rec- you, you need to pursue something that you would really love. Because, um, lalo na when you start it, it will really take over your life. It will take up so much from you. And if you don't love what you are going to pursue, then it's really not going to be sustainable. It's not going to thrive because you yourself are not thriving in 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 the business. Um, so that's the first one. I guess second would be um, humility. Just because um, you know any kind of business is not going to be successful if it's just you. I mean, you need to recognize that uh, you know uh, it won't it it won't survive if it's just you as a person. It has to be a team effort. Um, so humility that you cannot do it alone. Humility that if it's all by God's grace, you don't even own it. It's it's just it's just being lent to you, and it's an opportunity that's being given to you by the Lord for you to be able to make a difference at this time in your life. So humility also in the context of you not knowing everything and you recognizing that you will really learn from a lot of people around you who will be part of your business. Um, and then I guess isa pa would be maybe accountability. I feel like it's it's something that uh, as a business owner, we need to recognize as important because we cannot just make our employees accountable if we ourselves are not accountable to them. So what we expect from them should be the things that they also see in us. So if we expect that they um, would, as mentioned earlier, even with our kids, same shy. If, if we expect that they would pursue excellence at work, then that means they have to see that we embody that as well. Um, if, if you expect that they would uh, exercise integrity, right? yes, if they would embrace integrity, you also have to show that you are also someone with integrity. So I guess you know, accountability towards the people who you work with, but at the same time, accountability to God. Um, just because you, you, you have to recognize that everything that you do is a reflection of Him and your faith. So if you, if you, are, if you do things substandard or if you are just mediocre, then that's basically how you're representing the Lord in your work. And of course, you don't want that. Uh, So yeah, uh, I love I love your answers, guys. Um, ang ganda, at the ang end ganda of the is, day, we yeah. bring the glory all back to God. Diba? I agree. I agree. Talagang we're just we're just an extension of Him. So guys, um, is there anything? Uh, can you? Uh, I want you guys to also please plug in your businesses. Um, if uh, Sab, you go first. You can plug in. Uh, promote your business and then later we go to Razel. So first, can you would you like to invite our viewers for... In- indulge me first. I want to show you the box. <laughs> oh yes, yes. Of course, of <laughs> course. Patingin, patingin, patingin. Um, this is can called I see? Uh, 
Avery Love Surprise Cylinder. Ang haba. Wow. I call it the love oh, that's box. That's so nice. So, um, ang hirap pala mag-source ng printer sa kanang manufacturer ng packaging. So, <laughs> it comes in several colors, uh, but the love comes in pink and black. Uh, it has a ribbon on top. Uh, and then, when you open it, it opens like so. Wow. Ito na yung container sa loob. Ganda. And the, the thing that I'm most, you know, um, proud about is, I I put, you know, uh, 1 Corinthians 13 uh, at the back of the, back, the box. So it says, hope, faith, and love. But the greatest of this is love. And so, you know, little, uh, little, uh, tawag doon, um, snippets of uh, our Christian faith. And then it also comes in a bigger size. This is, it comes in two sizes. Ganda, it is the sab, bigger one. Ganda. So fancy, sir. It looks so good. <laughs> so fancy and ganda. Ah. Ito yung isa. This is the other one. And yes. This is the other one. So, in terms of size. So, I'm very proud of this because it was inspired by our daughter, Avery. Ang ganda. <laughs> Ah, ganda. <laughs> um, because I live close by the flower shop, uh, we ha- we accept orders 24-7. We've had orders coming in at 2 a.m. They needed it at 4 a.m. This is pandemic times, huh? Uh, so, there, it's we're, we're very friendly. If you, you know, browse through the IG if you like something, the experience is really very personal. Um, you ask if you like something then let me know if you don't if you have a certain idea then also let me know in terms of budget we're also very friendly yun um, that's about it Sab, I saw uh, di ba parang... I mean, I'm not a good marketing person I'm the <laughs> I'm the but, least ano, pero I Sab, ang ganda the... I saw it on your FB na parang may kunyari yung rose Parang may rose na for hope, tapos may rose na for faith. And ah, there's, yes. uh, Kasi just as what I mentioned a while ago, you know, we, I, I don't sell the idea of love. I try to inform you of what love is. And love is about hope, faith, love, diba? Trust. Yes. So I named the flowers after these... Uh, after these words, para, you know, when you give flowers, you just, you don't sell the idea of love. You really go beyond just the flowers and give meaning to the arrangement. In terms of marketing, if you want to order, yes, it's a cottage business, but, you know, just shoot us a message on IG. If you know my number, then you can message me. Yan. Um, sobrang, sobrang ganda yan. Hyper-personalized talaga ni Sab yan. Yun. Thank so you so much. Yun. If you're from Jubilee, mahirap mag-plug na may discount. <laughs> 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 diba? um, but, yo, that's about it. It's it's just a straightforward flower shop. And I'd like to thank you for inviting uh, me over, you know, uh, to showcase what uh, the, flower, the, the flower shop is all about. It's really a story of how God has been faithful and steadfast in my life. Actually, I want to thank you na for gracing our show talaga. Parang, I want to thank you. So, um, uh, ang ganda nun, Sab. Thank you. I want to thank you for gracing our show. So, um, Razel, uh, is there anything you want to plug in um, about the business? Where are you located? Or, you know? Yeah, no. If you have any questions on digital marketing, you can just... Um, Get in touch with me on Facebook or on Viber. Um, You'll see a message right away. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, actually, for me, yun lang naman. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to, I'm willing to help out um, anyone who has questions. Um, any batchmate who have, has questions on digital marketing, I'm, I'm definitely willing to answer all your questions. Um, we have, ito, last na, may questions ang viewers natin, last two questions, uh, 
question to Razel and Sabrina. If you were to if you were given a chance to ask the host a question, what will it be? <laughs> Guys, be kind, please be kind. <laughs> be kind. I defer to you. <laughs> Teka, mag-iisip muna ako. Huwag niyo kakadurugin. <laughs> Alam mo na yung gusto ko tanong kagabi pa. Ikaw na sabi. Ikaw na lang magtanong. Uh, pero hindi ito in-expect mo. <laughs> oh, mabigla ako. Kinakabahan ako sa... I'm scared. <laughs> Sige, go. Ano ba gusto mo tanong namin? <laughs> Let me know. Anything. Uh, Han, do you have a question for Johnny? You mentioned, you mentioned the other day that you think uh, your 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 biggest challenge is everything is digital now, correct? Yes. And yes. Um, you're worried if in the future, uh, you feel like I know um, the importance of the receipts, right? The printed receipts. Yes. So now that you're at the helm of your business and you're part of your family business, what what can you do to meet this challenge? Um, Ang hirap ng question ko. Oh, yeah, pero okay lang, okay lang. Um, I think also, um, before while you're thinking of the answer, you know, I'd like to commend you, you know, for taking on this task of hosting the activity. <laughs> Yon, I think you're doing great. Uh, Thank you. If you, I know you, you uh, uh, if if given a chance, as Razel and I will host a show and then we'll just feature you, de ba? Because <laughs> you know, we have so much story to tell, de ba? Your 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 kubaga malaman yung story mo, de ba? Yes. So, yeah, I um, like I like I like to commend you on it. Thank you, thank you, Sobra. That means a lot. So for your question, uh, I think. The only way is um, we've been learning from the other countries, you no know, first world country, na kung uh, what are they doing? Na since everything is going digital right now, so I guess we have to look up to the yung mga person na transition, yung mga same business na transition from. We have to learn from them to the from the other countries, kung what they did to adapt to the current business environment. And yun na nga, yung we have we also have to go digital pero parang we have to we have to learn we have to learn from what the other countries did the 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 first world countries kung ano ginawa nila and then we'll do that here parang ganun. so basically we have to learn what they did so we can usually you do what the others do na naging successful sila so basically that's what we're gonna do. You just follow them. Dani, since nagtanong si Sab about business, I'll ask naman a personal question. Okay, <laughs> go. Yeah, so since you're now engaged, what are you looking forward to in the coming year? Uh, I'm looking forward to... Yes, of course. <laughs> I'm looking forward to when I wake up, tapos kaharap ko yung wife ko, ganon, and then morning coffees, and traveling again, traveling around the world again with my fiance and magiging wife ko na. So talagang I look forward to just spending our lives together na just talagang um, going through this life together with her and of course with God. So, yun. <laughs> Sana nanonood siya. <laughs> <laughs> Sabi ko mag-tune in siya. <laughs> congratulations on your engagement, Johnny. Johnny, congrats. We're so happy. Thank you, you. thank you, thank you so Baka much. Baka kailangan mo ng flower girls. <laughs> ano na muna, na. parang uh, inaano ko muna kasi delix yung ano eh. As, as you know naman, yung ano the global pandemic so parang medyo ang hirap magplan honestly to be honest ang hirap magplan para we're just planning like tomorrow is going to be better yun na lang yun na lang so talagang actually yun na lang ginagawa namin we're just planning na 
as if tomorrow is going to be better tomorrow is gonna be okay na parang ganun so basically yun that's what we're doing so guys eto na lang if you wanna gusto nyo mag shout out sa you wanna greet anyone so sabi ka muna din Razel if you wanna greet anyone or give thanks to the people Um, when when I was interviewed on live television before, I fa- nagalit siya sa akin because I failed to mention her. So I'd like to make a shout out to my sister Alexandra uh, <laughs> for <laughs> for be Alexandra and Katrina for for being my uh, my rocks, my encourager. Uh, you know, it's difficult to be the eldest among five siblings. And tapos two of two of them pa women, de ba? So e, when you when you become wiser, you realize family really is very very important. Family is also everything. So I'd like to um, give a shout out and thank my sister Alexa and Kat. I love you both. Wow! Thanks, thanks. Ang ganda, ang ganda. And thanks for and uh, thank you for thank you to. Chrislyn, Tani, Antonio, and our tech guy. What's his name, Johnny? Um, Aris, Aris yes. from Folio. Oh, thank you, Aris. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, thank you, Sab. Grabe ang ganda. Thanks for the kind words. Thank you. Um, how about you, Hazel? Do you wanna give a shout out to anyone? Greet anyone? I R V Ali and Aki. Love you. <laughs> um, and then I just wanted to say thanks also to the production team, uh, to Anton, Chris, Steph, um, and you, Johnny, for facilitating. Thank you, thank us, you for inviting thank, the two of us. Thank you very much. I mean, sobrang thank you ako sa inyong dalawa for gracing our show. Alright, guys, can you stay a while? We will be giving away. The prizes, eh. so let's thank our viewers also. Those yes, oh, <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, thank you, everyone, for watching. I, thank you for. I know. Nata takot kami ni Razel, kasi sa nika may back end. <laughs> yeah, thank you, everyone, for watching. Thank you for our sponsors. Thank you for our partners. Thank you for our co-presenter, Emperor Distillers Inc. Our platinum partners, Jubilee Christian Academy, Tosca Packaging Systems Corporation, um, Gold Partners, PA Gallery, PH, Ask Attorney Migs, The Chinky Chef, and our silver partner, we want to thank you, CAA Pacific Realty. Talagang salamat dito sa mga tao na to and everyone who made this show possible talagang without them talaga parang malulungkot ako kasi talagang this show wouldn't be possible without everyone na pitching in. So guys, um, we will be giving away the prizes na for our two winners. Um, okay, uh, can we show the... For the lamp curry... Ang winner is, can we show the graphic? Isa-isa lang, lamb curry. Ah, okay. The winner of the lamb curry is Charlene <laughs> Ong. Okay. Congratulations. And um, the winner of the cash prize of 2,000 pesos is Can you guys show the graphic, please? Candy Tang. Wow! Congratulations, Grabe. Candy! Grabe. Guys, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone, for supporting the show. Thank you for the viewers. Thank you for gracing our show. Talagang... Dani, thank you, let's, everyone. let's give a shout-out to our batchmates also. Batch yes. 2002, hello! Yes, shout-out, shout-out to Wolfpack, shout-out to mga batchmates. Sa batch natin. Yes, yeah. shout-out, shout-out sa lahat. Shout-out sa back-end. Kilatani, Christine, Antonio. Hi, Hi Ness! <laughs> shout-out to everyone. Talagang shout-out sa back-end and everyone. Shout-out sa viewers. Shout-out to everyone. Thank you, everyone, for coming to our show. Um... 
thank you everyone and uh, thank you everyone for supporting us without you guys this show wouldn't be possible uh, please stay tuned for our next episode on September this is your host John Michael Lim signing off as always stay safe and take care God bless bye so bye Offline na. Offline na.